Welcome. This video demonstrates our technique for hysteroscopic adhesiolysis in a patient with Asherman syndrome. Our patient is a 40-year-old nulliparous female with a history of fibroids and heavy menstrual bleeding. She has had three prior hysteroscopic myomectomies as well as a uterine artery embolization. She is planning on AVF and her HSG and SAS findings were consistent with intrauterine adhesions. In this case, endometrial cavity access is achieved by vaginoscopy. We find this is better tolerated than the traditional speculum and tenaculum and rarely requires cervical dilation or local anesthetic. Once inside the cavity, we look for landmarks. Here we see what looks to be the left tubal ostea as well as dense adhesions in the midline and in the right cornua. We start the resection with cold semi-rigid scissors on areas we know to be scar tissue. Here we find that what appeared to be the right ostea was in fact a lateral defect in the scar tissue band. With both cornua now identified, we can confidently continue with the adhesiolysis.
The procedure is completed when we have restored the uterine cavity to a normal shape and contour. After such a large resection, we would normally start a patient on twice daily estradiol, but in this case, the patient was already taking combined oral contraceptives per her reproductive endocrinologist. This is a video of her three-week follow-up hysteroscopy. There was no reformation of her adhesions, which is atypical. This concludes our video presentation. Thank you so much for watching.